The Atrexian Council has released you. Hmm. What are they up to? Don't be so surprised. They can't stop destiny. I'm surprised. I'm worried. You always worry about nothing. You should cultivate the unwavering certainty of our ancestors. They were hardly mm. unwavering. My research says they were. Then why did it take my research to activate uh, the facility? Enough! Thank you for your hospitality. Don't thank these barbarians? They destroyed our only proof. My son, this sector is filled with proof. Yes. The work awaits. Come, Clea. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok, I petitioned the Enterprise for permission to stay on board. But why, child? I want to help the Federation study the Exomorph bodies. Mm -hmm. It's my own small way of atoning for the death we caused. I forbid it! You do not control me! Captain Picard, Dr. Clea has requested permission to stay aboard the Enterprise and assist in the investigation of the Exomorph bodies. Her skills could be quite useful. She's authorized to stay on board. Do not allow her to stay, Picard. Dr. Clear, you will be assisting the research team. Welcome to the Enterprise. Thank you, Captain. Picard out. You'll regret this. Krindle, you are cleared to leave. I suggest you do so immediately. Everyone's an enemy. It's bad. It's a pretty ship. It's retracted its guns. Hmm. Bleh. We have finished repairs to the warp drive on the USS Dallas. She's ready to head back to Starbase 12 for a cruise. And boom. It will fully repair at some point. Freaking relic. Captain. We've received a distress call from a nearby Atrexian colony. The colony is in the Taravar system. We're going to protect the Atrexians. From what? That's what I intend to find out. Oh, jeez. We to have keep developed a new weapon. Ooh. We shall have time for a demonstration before we arrive. Come over to the armory as soon Hello. as you can. This is quite a view. Which reminds me. When you're in one of the multiplayer maps, this uh, entire uh, place is like huge, so you're like a tiny little thing just walking around on the tables and all that. When you stare out these windows, you actually see Picard dusting off this place as if it's a miniature starship. Blah! Oh well. Everyone's got his hobbies. Well, finally, you've gone to your own seat again. Sheesh. That guy's been sitting in your seat, you know. Freaking asses. Uh, time to meet Corbin in the armory. Asshole. Yes, you. I want to get over there, damn it. Uh. Fuck's sake. Annoying people. Decade armory. Yeah. Decade armory. Hurrah, hurrah. Huzzah. Cha-ching! Ah, boredom. Blech. Come on, want to test that weapon out? Ah. Nothing secret here either. Where am I? Armory is E. I'll take a left. Oh, hello. People talking. The furry! Oh, they're mute. They're signing to each other. Give me the gun, give me the gun, give me the gun, give me the gun, give me the weapon, man, give me the weapon, give me the weapon, give me the goddamn weapon. I've made some improvements on the Federation issue grenade launcher. Oh. I've loaded a holo program to test it. Hell if you yeah. like it, then we can use it on the mission. Good. Yeah, I'm you on set. Let me in. Gotta press the damn button. Ooh, shuk, shuk. Look at this thing. Hell yeah. Wow, it doesn't have a right mouse, but... 
doesn't have a secondary fire mode. Oh, you can load up three! Or something. What does this do? It doesn't do anything. Ah. Bang. Almost as good as a Klingon! Oh, shush you. Oh well, I suppose it's a compliment from Corbin. Yay! Yay. Starship Enterprise. Now entering the Taravar system. Shields up. Taravar 7 dead ahead. Take us in. Aye, sir. No ships in the area. Scanners detect exomorphs. They're swarming Taravar 7. Maintain a high orbit. Keep us outside the range of their propulsion systems. Aye, sir. Hail them. No response. The planetary defensive grid has been knocked offline. Superficial damage to their power converters. Monroe, hmm. assemble your team. I want you to restore that grid and... Damage. Captain, multiple ships warping in. Three Idril ships. Interesting timing. Hail them. Greetings, Captain. We are here to provide assistance to the Atrexians. Why do I not what trust a guy with a cloth of Each of our mouth? ships have a small security contingent. We would be honored to put them under your command to assist the Atrexians. They will take orders from Lieutenant Monroe. Of course, Captain. Monroe, prepare your team to beam down and keep an eye on the Idril. I don't trust anybody at all. Why do you always get three people with you? Sheesh. We are ready to transport. Lowering shields for transport. Uh oh. That's the problem. That's when we get attacked. Holy fuck, that thing looks like a freaking jockstrap! Oh my god! Turn everything back on! Turn it back on! Ah! Uh oh! Move it! Let's hide! Oh shit, gotta close all my pawn screens! Ah! Where's the percent messenger? Destruction! Engines offline! Weapon systems offline! The three Idril ships hit us when we lowered shields. <laughs> Wow, gee whiz, we didn't figure that out screen. yet. Brenda. Uh huh. When we last met, you took away my most precious possession. Now I take away yours. Prepare to be boarded. Lieutenant Monroe. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Report to the bridge. And bring me a rifle. <laughs> Thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you, Lieutenant. He says it in such a monotone way. That's so un so unlike the the experience of one the of those people. The transporters are down, along with the turbo lifts. I've got Idril beam in signatures appearing all over the ship. To all hazard team members, emergency deploy. Fight off the Idril invaders. Over there. 
requested assistance in the main cargo bay on deck eight. Hello. Heck. Ooh, that stuff's dangerous. Hmm. You'll die. Nobody's in the brig. Hmm. 